this is just my official vlogging spot <laughs> in bed. I thought I'd come in on here and say a proper welcome to the new vlog instead of the whispering 6am stuff. I'm reading Normal People by Sally Rooney. This is just um, long listed for the Women's Prize and I had it here to read so I just had to pick it up immediately. I read a bit this morning before we went on our walk. I have a sick baby and he's just resting now so I'm going to read while well, he doesn't need me. Probably only be for five minutes, but anyway. This is one of those books where I don't know anything about it. I've watched everybody say how fabulous it is and yeah, can't retain information to know enough about it. But I'm really excited to read it to see whether I fit in with everybody else. <laughs> That's kind of why I read hyped books, to see whether I fit in with everyone else. Just that reassurance. <laughs> what does it say on the back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're back in when Connell and Marianne have met and they've just struck up their friendship. And um, Connell is reveling in the fact that it is all in secret so that he can be his true self, which made me sad for him. Um, it's really easy writing. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll stop blabbering. Enough. I'm going to read now. Bye. I love this line at the bottom of page 65 where Marianne is talking about her mother, Denise, and saying that Denise believes that Marianne lacks warmth, by which she means the ability to beg for love from people who hate her. Very cool. That's exactly what warmth is. That's exactly what warmth is. Having all of these self-realisation moments, thinking of how strong Marianne is after I just ragged her for not knowing her worth. I wish I was like that when I was 17. Things could have gone so differently. Hmm. Anyway, good for her. Connell, you asshole. Now we're three months later. I guess now they're at college. Connell just went to the party and Marianne's like the cool chick with the cool boyfriend. Not that any of that matters, but he, he really needed to feel like that. Like he really needed to feel like that. And she probably really needed to feel like that too. It's like punching the air for this chick. I'm so into her. So into her, but then she tells him that she misses him or something. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. This is, this is going to be a fun ride. Hi, it's uh, Thursday night. I'm up to page 120. Nothing's slowing down or nothing's getting worse. I'm just kind of needing something to happen. They're together and they break up and then they're together and they break up and I'm not too sure whether I can continue on with a whole book of this just being the same pattern. It's interesting enough, but I'm hoping that something happens soon. I just picked it up again after hanging out and doing all the mum stuff and I'm kind of, ah. Uh, Great, you know, they broke up and oh, great, now they're meeting up again at the cafe and we'll see where this leads and you know, like just all of that stuff. There is one unexplained breakup, so I guess we'll have to go over that and why that happened. I don't know. It's, it's great, it's just, I'm waiting for something to happen. So I'm gonna get stuck into reading now and hopefully I can report back soon and say, there it is, something happened, please. I hope so. They can't get back together again. Can you tell I'm over like early relationship, early 20s relationship angst? I don't, just don't have time for that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read on and talk to you soon.
on a Friday morning and I am sort of 70 pages from the end of normal people. I've got a page of stuff I've written down. Hang on, I'll show you. Excuse the dinosaur in the background. These are the notes I've taken so far. Oh, dinosaur. It's too early. I'm looking forward to pulling all those notes together and kind of coming up with like what I believe to be what this book is about. <laughs> I guess I'm enjoying it. It's not riveting. I'm just finding it dragging a bit. If you keep going over the same grounds and maybe that's what I'm going to pull out of this. Maybe the repeat of patterns is, is what this book is all about. I don't know, but I just feel like we're going around and around and around in circles. And yeah, I'm kind of getting a bit bored. I I mean, it's not bad at all. It's not bad. It's just, I'm just, yeah, just a bit bored. But I think that sometimes I, sometimes I go through this with books, that there's this lull and I'm thinking, God, what's the point? Or, you know, I'm wanting something to be a bit more direct. And then when I get to the end and I reflect on it, I think, that it was all so necessary. And I think that that process and all of this cyclical stuff that we're going through will be necessary for the ending. I'm hoping so. Anyway, I always have a different opinion than everybody else. Why is that? Why can't I be normal? <laughs> Fitzy, yes, be far more gentle with your dinosaur that roars. So breaking that toy would not be a bad idea. It's very annoying. Okay, um, we're up and at them early, so I've got some time to do some reading before the day kicks off. I'm going to have my cup of tea. Anyway, I'm going to read this now. <laughs> picked up some really great books which I'm excited to get to so I have to finish off normal people so I can read those ones <laughs> um, I found some chocolate when I thought I had none so I fist pumped the air that was really exciting I've got my cup of tea um, I've got let's see I've got 50 pages left of this guy so I'm just gonna finish this off and then I will let you know all of my thoughts. Hopefully I can pull off all of my notes together and come up with something a little cohesive. That's the aim. Okay, I'll talk to you when I'm finished. Um, okay, all done. I think I'm gonna have an unpopular opinion. I really, really wanted to like this book, but I thought it was okay. I know. Um, so for those of you who don't know, this is about two friends who meet in high school and it follows them through the end of high school and college. Actually, what is the time frame? It starts in January 2011 and ends in 2014, I think. No, February 2015. So what's that? <laughs> So that's four years over the course of a friendship. Okay, what's this about? What's this about? It's about normal people. And it's not describing the people that are in the book. It's about what is normal. Who are the normal people and how people feel like they aren't normal because they aren't doing 
the same things as everyone else or they don't have the same desires as everybody else. And Connell meets Marion in high school. Marion is unpopular, does not have friends and doesn't really care what people think of her. Connell is the star of the football team and he takes up a friendship with Marion so that he feels like he can be himself. He has this kind of, he's, he's the popular guy, but he just doesn't really feel like he's being true to himself. Whereas with Marion, he can, but they keep that relationship a secret because he's worried about what people think because she's a, she's a loser at school, apparently. And then they go to college. So he's the normal person, right? And then they go to college at the same college and it's for people with money, it's for rich kids. And everybody talks about, you know, politics and all of the deep dark things. And he's the one that's not normal because he doesn't have any money and he just doesn't seem to fit in with everybody's belief of what normal is in that environment. So then he's the outsider. And then Marion's the popular one and she does fit in. But then she's also then playing a role to fit in and then is herself with Connell on the side. I don't know. It's, it's, the reason I don't like this book is because I'm just over, I'm just over the angst. And I think I said that before. It kind of kept going in this loop of them sleeping together, them not being happy with each other, then moving on with someone else, them getting back together, then sleeping together, then something else happens in their life and they catch up with each other again and then sleep together again. And it's just, it's just too much. It's too much of the back and forward stuff. Yeah, I just, I just got really bored with that circular kind of relationship. One thing that really struck me was, I'm reading my notes now. One thing that really struck me was Marion's, the way that um, Marion played out in her relationships, the, the scar she had from her childhood. And that was to do with abuse and to do with men treating her badly. And she treated badly by her father and also her brother and I relate related to that because that's something I scares the shit out of me about being mum like I worry all the time that I'm scarring my kids and it's going to affect them later on in their relationships so that was interesting to see how that played out I felt very sad for her in that situation um so yeah, that was that sort of subplot was the most interesting part of the book for me. I couldn't have cared about the back and forth college relationship, but I was really interested in the development of Marion as a person that she started off as being really confident, not caring about what people thought. But as the development of her, as she went into college and then she became the popular person and then people started to not like her again because of, that's how things roll in college, I guess. Um, she hated the fact that people didn't like her and so that confidence drew away and when that confidence came away she felt she deserved hatred and abuse from men and so then she moved into that realm and I guess that friendship with Connell where he didn't treat her like that in terms of physical abuse or in terms of speaking to her badly she then, you know, like he kind of, she saw that he saved her from that. She was always subservient. She was always submissive in that relationship. So yeah, watching that development of Marianne as a character, that might've been a bit jumbled, sorry, but yeah, that was, that was the most interesting part for me. Everything else was, it was just cliche to me. This just constant cyclical nature of this friendship just annoyed me. It really did unpopular opinion and I'm so bummed because I was really looking forward to this it wasn't bad um each chapter sort of jumps ahead a few months or a few weeks or something like that and it always starts out with the present time and then it really seamlessly moves back through what happened during the period we just skipped over I thought that Sally Rooney did that really well I didn't feel like 
it was painful to go back. You know, she kept me at the end of each chapter wanting to know what was next. Um, so that was really well done. I thought that was really seamlessly done. I enjoyed reading it, reading a story like that and not being annoyed at having to go back and see what happened in the past few months or whatever it is. That normally drives me a bit bonkers. But yeah, I thought that was really well done. Yeah, it's not it's not a bad book, but it's a it's a three star for me. Yeah. I kept reading because of the writing, I think, but the story was it was cliche and boring for me. Sorry everyone who loved it. Again, I'm apologizing for a bad review. So that's it. I finished. Normal people. So thanks for watching this vlog. Um, feel free to shout at me in the comments if you loved this book. I'm happy to to take it all on. I'm happy to listen. Um, I did look at the Goodreads reviews and I am definitely in the minority again. Is there something wrong with me? It's like I said before, I'm not normal. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.